Residents packed the East Gull Lake City Hall for a public hearing to discuss a controversial development on Gull Lake. After the hearing, the East Gull Lake Planning and Zoning Commission made a unanimous decision regarding the issue. Our Logan Gay fills, fills us in. After a four-hour meeting, the East Gold Lake Planning and Zoning Commission voted to recommend approval for a conditional use permit and preliminary plat for a 27-unit homeowner association on Squaw Point Road. And the developer couldn't be happier. I'm thrilled. I've been working on it for many years. Martin Harstad, a developer from the cities, has owned land on Gold Lake for years. I owned it since 1981, 35 years. So you can imagine his surprise when he was met with criticism after he decided he wanted to build on his own land. There was some controversy in the beginning, but it was people that were mostly just uh, uninformed. Many residents believe that the city's planning and zoning commission could have done a better job communicating with the public about the project. People are there probably 70% of them, including me, that didn't know about this until two weeks ago. However, one family in particular whose horses grazed on the land for decades due to a gentleman's agreement went as far as starting a petition to try and slow down the process. If we could get enough people involved that um, the public would be able to find out more information and then see where we stood. And although the family was disappointed with the decision, they do accept the commission's choice. I think they did a very good job in the meeting. They tried to get the facts out. Um, I'm disappointed that they didn't. Um, table it for a month just to um, maybe get some more feedback and make sure all the bases were covered um, from the um, public's perspective. Um, they've all been provided the information time and time again, but this was last minute for everybody in the neighborhood. The final approval of the permitting will go before the City Council September 6. In East Gold Lake, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. Construction on the homes will begin this fall. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.